Welcome to Leo's Animal Planet. Today we are going to be doing the laundry. So let's get into it. Every time you wash your clothes, you use detergents. These detergents are made in factories, and these factories pollute a lot all around the world. Every day, we produce a lot of CO2 when washing our clothes. But that's not all. These chemicals are so bad for our seas and oceans. They have harsh chemicals in them that are very harmful to aquatic life like phosphate for example phosphate causes eutrophication it produces a lot of algae which reduces the amount of oxygen in the water and as a result kills our lovely fish but that's not all these are plant and, and they have microplastic in them these microplastic fibers come from our clothes microplastics are pieces of plastic that are less than five millimeters and microfibers are the biggest polluters the concentration of microfibers in the seas is huge 500,000 per square meter in the UK when you wash your clothes microfibers end up going in the dirty water it then goes into the sewage water but sadly not everything gets filtered out which is very bad sewage is a big problem in the uk and these microplastics end up in the sea it gets eaten by plankton crabs tiny fish bigger fish and then humans if you eat fish so this is why we are making a video um, about how to make your own, own good homemade washing powder to help save the environment and aquatic life. This will also be so much better for your carbon footprint and the environment and it also cleans your clothes a lot better. Step 1. Ditch the chemicals. So, what I am looking at here, and probably you are as well, is um, washing powder that you get at the store. Do you see these blue and orange things? Those are microplastics, and you can also see some yellow things, but those are also microplastics. This is sodium lauryl sulfate. Now, do not touch this with your fingers because it is very harsh to your body and also makes your like skin really irritated and stuff. So, these washing powders include phosphate, which is really, really bad. It poisons fish or any type of aquatic life. It's bad. It's very, very bad. Also, Washing powders include palm oil, and you know what palm oil does because I know you've watched the Spider Monkey video. So yeah, that's that's tough. It's tough out there when you're an animal. Step two: ditch the plastic bottles. Only thirty percent of that plastic is recycled. It's very unfortunate. So the more you buy plastic bottles, the more you pollute in effect. Step three is make our own laundry detergent. So this will not do anything bad to your skin at all if we make this washing powder. It's also better for you and animals. To do this, you will need one adult to supervise you, unless you're an adult yourself. So first up, you need bicarbonate of soda then we need soda crystals black soap it's made in morocco with olives that's why it smells so good and looks really good next we need marseille so this is the best type of soap in the world. It's like Superman soap. 
where it has no animal fat, it's good for the environment, cruelty free, and it is so healthy for you, unlike other soap. This is the holy grain of soap! And it's from Marseille where my grandparents live right next to me. Step one, boil the water. Step two, add the soap. Step three, mix it all together. Step four, add the bicarbonate of soda. Step five, add the crystal soda. Add the black soap. Step six, shake it all off. Put it in a bottle and that's done. So if you want your clothes to smell nice, which is completely fine, it's so fine, um, just add a bit of essential oil, and that's good enough. Well, I am not going to add lavender and orange to mine, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to add any essential oil at all, I'm not that kind of person who wants to smell good, but I do, well I smell fine. Okay, so we've boiled some water, so the water is like super hot. So, as you can see, there's steam coming out, so it's very hot. So, I'll sprinkle a few. I think I'll sprinkle like all of it. Okay, so as you can see, we've sprinkled all the soap. So, First we need to add the carbonate of soda, pour all of it slowly. Next we need to add the crystals. And finally, last but not least, the black soap. Now we need to mix it all up with these spoons. Five minutes later. That's it guys, it's done. Let's make it cool off and we'll, then we'll put it in a bottle. I'm going to stir it a bit more though. You can just stir it a tiny amount. So you should stir it for about two minutes max. That's it really. One minute thirty is fine, but don't do it under a don't stir it for under a minute, okay? Because then it won't work that well. So I'm just going to stir it a bit more, and now I am done, and so should you be. So this is how you make soap without polluting. You know, um, is about four pounds to make this, and everything else is just one pound. So you can, it could save you a lot of money, you could save about a hundred pounds a year because like when you buy washing powder or washing um, items, uh, they normally cost about eight pounds and this could save you a lot of money and it's also really fun to do DIY while also cleaning your clothes and helping the environment. So this is why we made a video on this experiment. Okay, that's it. Our laundry detergent is done. So, if it gets a bit hard, just give it a good, good shake and it will be ready to use. And it's super helpful and this could last a month or and a half or maybe even two months. I've got a few tips for you. The first tip, fill your washing machine to the full and the top of it and um, so you're saving water and also saving energy which like energy of electricity which which that means you're polluting a lot less so if everybody would be doing this in the uk or the entire world or anywhere we'd be saving a lot of energy and be polluting a lot less. You don't need to wash your clothes at 60 degrees, 30 degrees is fine. But you can also get a microplastic filter installed on your washing machine. The Parliament is working on making it compulsory for 
to put microplastic filters in your washing machine is also a lot better for us, a lot better for the environment, and also a lot better for animals. So if you want to take it a step further, you can make it so your clothes, well, they aren't plastic. So just buy clothes that are made out of cotton, for example. So these are all the tips that we've got to tell you. And goodbye. See you next time on Leo's Animal Planet. Bye.